Hey everyone, welcome to day four and the fourth story and today we talk about the basketball story. One of my most favorite stories in the entire book. Why? Well, because it's one of my most favorite sports. And so today, fourth story, the basketball story out of the book, 25 stories I will tell my younger self. And uh, if, for those of you that have read the story, you will know that it's about my beginnings in basketball and what I took away from this sport. And as a quick upfront, um, how do you like my basketball outfit today, by the way? And as a quick upfront, um, if you have kids or you are a kid, then or a teenager, I would definitely get into sports. Sports teaches you so much about business later on. It teaches you so much about real life. It teaches you how to grind, how to work with the other people, and uh, well, how to basically get to the next level. So I think I took away so much from sport, gymnastics, we talked about yesterday, basketball, and later you will see kite surfing. I mean, all these sports are somewhat connected and uh, really important. But so the concept I would love to talk to you today about is getting rid of one word in your vocabulary and getting rid of that one word is really important. That word that you have to get rid of is the word I can't. So it's the word that you really have to get rid of. Why? because it destroys everything you try to do. Because that word can't makes your mind believe that it's not possible, where this is absolutely not true. So I learned this the really hard way. I had a coach who made me run back and forth until I had the feeling I can't do it anymore. But this was not true. To be very fair and square, it was actually that I didn't want to anymore. I, my mind told my body that it didn't want to run anymore, that it was too exhausted. But to be fair, my coach motivated me. He made me run another five, six, seven, eight, nine times until I was literally on the floor puking and I couldn't move anymore. It was one of the most humiliating experiences for me, but it was extremely mind opening. Because from that point onwards, I hardly ever, I cannot remember the last time I used the word I can't. So ask yourself, when was the last time that you told yourself, you know what, doing this, I can't do that. Uh, talking to someone about this, no, I can't do that. Learning a new language, no, I can't do that. Uh, passing this exam, I can't do that. This is not true because there's so many things that you are actually capable of doing. The human body and the human mind is so incredible it's literally possible to do anything. And there's one famous quote that says, what your mind can conceive, your body can achieve. So that means if you can imagine it and you envision it and you believe in it, you're absolutely capable of doing it. So if you wanna be a successful, a high achiever, and I call myself an achiever, why? Because I really go for it, I'm a go-getter. If I want to do something, I'll go for it. What you have to learn to ask yourself is, either tell yourself, be fair and square and say, I don't want to do something. If you feel you can't do another push-up, actually you don't want to do another push-up. If you feel that you don't, you cannot get up at five o'clock in the morning, you just don't want to get up at five o'clock in the morning. These are just very, very small things. So do this just for the next seven days. Go out and replace the word I can't with I don't want to. Everything's gonna change because you suddenly are like, wow, this is hurts myself so much. So the next level from this, replacing it with I don't want to, and this is where you're gonna get super successful, is replace the word I can't with I don't want to, and the next step with how can I? Every single time, ask yourself, how can I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning? How can I do 100 push-ups? How can I finish this exam? How can I build a business? How can I make 100,000 US dollars? How can I make 5,000 US dollars a month? How can I pay off my debt? How? It's the key question. And from that proper question, answers will follow. But if you tell your mind, or if your mind tells your body, if you want to say it like this, and you tell and you say, um, I can't make $5,000, I can't make $50,000, boom, da, da, finished. The question is, how can you? And suddenly your mind starts thinking and your mind starts working. Now, I learned that gladly when I was around 11, 12 years old, my coach made me work really hard. Um, back then, I was really upset with my coach. I didn't like him. He was one of the coaches that I liked the least. Well, the great thing is we actually, once I got a little bit older, I appreciated so much what he did for me. And uh, I mean, I'm super glad that I had a coach like that. 
I think it is so important and sports was so wonderful in that regard. We're going to keep it a bit shorter today. Normally we go seven, eight minutes today. Five minutes, I think it's really enough because that lesson is so important. Take some time right now. Commit. No more I can'ts. It's either I don't want to or if you want to spike it up a notch, it's how can I? And from this, you're going to go all the way. So my last thing for you, go out, do some awesome sports, have fun in life. And uh, hey, we, have, we do this on a daily basis until the 25th. So if you want to subscribe to our newsletter, just head over, click on the top, subscribe to our newsletter. And of course, we're going to have another show tomorrow. Connect with us on Facebook would be awesome. And with this, have fun. Cheers. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.